It's my lucky day. I'm getting to move the chains with Pat Kerwin and Jim Miller from SiriusXM NFL Radio at the 2022 NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. Pat, top story here in your opinion. Well, let's just stay on the draft. All right, big year for pass rushers and offensive tackles. We've talked to a number of GMs. Almost all of them need a pass rusher and a tackle, and they're excited about this draft. And quarterback questions here in Indianapolis. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you look at it right now, nobody's really rated in the top ten. You know, everybody's counting on there's going to be all this veteran movement of trades and quarterbacks could be moving on. I'm, I'm not so sure about that. Guys could be staying home, and so that typically is what drives quarterbacks up in the draft because now there will be a need for it, and maybe some of these guys can elevate themselves. I had the first pick in the draft when there were no quarterbacks in the draft, and we could not sell the spot. We tried like crazy for months to get out of the first spot because no quarterback was in there, no one would move up. So if you're up top, you may not be able to get out. Your feeling too is that the situation with the free agents let go by the teams who are over the cap gonna create quite a market. Yeah, the cap casualties to me will be, look, there's 755, depending on the moment, of free agents already. There's gonna go way over 800 with the cap casualties and the best players in free agents are going to be the cap casualty guys. So I think a lot of guys are sitting on that group, which will in the next two weeks are going to start dumping out. A lot of them have dummy years on the back of their contracts, so they're going to vacate them. A lot of them have huge roster bonuses that are due on the 18th of March, the 19th and 20th. They don't want to pay them. They're going to dump the players. So get ready for good players. Jim, do you like the wide receivers in this draft? Yeah, I think there's – well, we'll see what happens with the medical from the wide receiver from Alabama. He's got the torn ACL. This is going to be critical for for him. But, yeah, everybody says the meat of the draft. Again, I don't think there's a top tier like a Jamar Chase type of player. But if you look at the the meat of this draft, probably from the second round to probably the in the third round, you've got some quality receivers that offer a little bit of everything from size to speed to slot receivers. So there's going to be a pick of the litter where if a team – if you have a need, you'll be able to pluck one. Some analysts have 20 edge rushers in their top 100. Does that make sense to you, Pat? Mm, it's pretty close. So I, I gave a list to Eddie of the guys I'd like to talk to while we're here. 20 on defense, 20 on offense. On the 20 defensive players, I have eight. So that should tell you how I feel about the pass rushers. In terms of teams that fascinate you at this time of year, who's jumping out right now, Jim? Well, I think there's a, a lot of teams. I think New England, they're always interesting how they conduct business. Think about it. They don't even have an offensive coordinator right now. But you look at how they landed the draft pick last year with Mac Jones. I think Bill Belichick attacks the offseason as, as well as, as anybody. And then there's going to be teams that are at the top, like San Francisco. What are they going to do with Jimmy Garoppolo? Pat and I have been saying, I think there's another quarterback that may be Stand and Pat. He may not be moving anywhere. So to me, they're a very interesting team because they have very little free agents. When you look at San Francisco, they can really help themselves here this offseason. Speaking of San Francisco and interesting topics, get you the hot question. Is Tom Brady really retired? Uh, I believe so. I think I think he's done. There's just too many hula hoops to jump through. He'd have to unretire. Buccaneers have his rights, all those things involved. And then you need Jimmy Garoppolo moves. So there, there's a lot of moving parts that would need to happen uh, for Tom to unretire, I think. Does Aaron Rodgers go back for another year in Green Bay? Well, first off, they own his rights. You know me, I'm from the contract world. So he's going to stay if I want him to stay, or he's going to retire if he doesn't want to play. They'll end up getting a deal with him, and he'll stay. He was the MVP on that team. Why would he go somewhere else? Oh, by the way, Aaron, you're really good. Don't go to the AFC loaded with young quarterbacks. He's Pat Kerwin. He's Jim Miller. Move. We're moving the chains. Yes, you are. You're the down mark. I'm the down marker. I'm the human down marker. Pat Kerwin, Jim Miller with me, Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us.